to you. Let's throw them to you. I want to know if it's any different from the case of the castle behind the hay bales, because they were both trying to exploit the same loophole. Kirsty, what are people OK, saying? we have Tarquin on line three. Tarquin, good morning. Good morning there. Um, so, would you kick him out? No, no, I wouldn't kick him out. I, I think the countryside, people saying that... There's Mr Akabusi there saying that there would be people... That, and, and the other chap, I don't know his name, Jeremy, the young good-looking one. Jedward. <laughs> Jeremy. Jedward. Jeremy. Well, they're saying... They're saying that they're going to have barns all over the country yeah. filled with people, and, and that's just not true. I don't think everybody wants to live rurally. Right. Right. I think that if the, if the people want to live there on the land, the agricultural land, like the government are, are encouraging us to do, right, I think uh, to grow vegetables, grow their own meat, uh, contribute to the local economy, I think the planners should be applauding it and not uh, allowing planning permission for a big big, massive shops like Tesco's, Nasda and all the big shops just up the road from these people. I bet you any money that that barn there where those people are living and probably working on the land, they've got big developments going on up the road. And because of these companies have got such a lot of money and the government have to support them and they get a lot from the government, it's absolutely disgusting, boys. I, I think... And, and lady as well, sorry. Do you know what, Tarkin? <laughs> do you know what, Tarkin? <laughs> I could, I could just listen to you, no, hear so you speaking. Yeah, it's like Eddie. listening to you. It's like going on holiday. I feel like I've had a nice rest in the country. What a lovely... You're more than welcome, right? Come down here. I tell you what, right? We, we had a it's barn a built on our land. Yeah. We had a borehole put in, right? Yeah. We bought a Swedish log cabin, which is still in bits, in, yeah. in, the, uh, in the barn there. Yeah. The, council, the council won't let us put the log cabin up. All we want to do is grow our veg and, gr and do our pigs and sell it to the local economy. Yeah. The farmer over the way, who's from bloody Oxford, he's from Oxford, Oxford. he's only for 10 years, he's done all these complaints. So what we're going to do, there's a little loophole in the law, for 28 days a year, during the summer season, in August, you can have, without planning permission, campers on your land as a campsite. I found out that if you rent the toilets in and the showers, that's only about 50, 60 quid a week. And on our fields, you could get up to 150 tents. And I put an advert on the internet, and I'm going to... That farmer, he's got all these ancient footpaths across his land. I'm going to take all the people from the cities across his land. See how he likes that. I'm going to get him back and try and earn the same Tarkin. money that I would have earned with my pigs, Ooh. which I can't have. <laughs> I'm going camping at Tarquin's. Yeah. Tarquin, never short of a few words. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, Tarquin, if it happens, right, I'll come camping there. I've got a massive tent. It'll be a pleasure. Thank you very much for the call. Let's have a look. Okay, we'll go for Lucy on line four.